again, I'm just going to step on your toes a little this evening. We have had to shift from what we can do as the church to a greater dependence on the supernatural work of God. This is one of the biggest I've seen. Now, the church has grown tired of endlessly filling calendars that don't require God. We minister and do stuff and have stuff, and it doesn't require God. And we calendar full of stuff we get to do and can do. But I believe, honestly, we all in our hearts want to be part of something that can only be explained by God. Zechariah 4, 6, not by might. I mean, how much do we quote that scripture? Well, it's a profound scripture. Not by might. What God was saying, it's not going to be the might of your people. You know, there's a big challenge for us to have a big church, and we have a big church, then we look successful. And I'm not anti-big or small. I'm all for what God wants to do. Just so you know, not all big churches are sellouts. Somehow we think there must, there must be too many gimmicks. God does whatever He wants, and we need small and big. We just want to be what God, and every church should be growing if it's connected to Jesus. Are you there? But I also want to say, That somehow we think when we get to size, then we can, and God said it's not by the might of your people. Yet we still have that measuring stick today. The size will determine the impact that we carry. God says not by might, not by what you can do, nor by power. And that power he's speaking of is King Cyrus's position. You as king do not have the power you need. We can sit here tonight and say, we got such great position in Christ. It's not your position that determines what God does. It's not your numbers, and it's not your position, but by my Spirit. Oh, we got to learn that. And there's this pivot of not what can we do, what can He do in and through us? What does He want to do with His people? Can I, can I be honest? It seems that much of the church today is dominated more by the Spirit of this age than the Spirit of Christ. What would a church look like if it was built to attract God, not man? I want to be in that church. I know it's about reaching people, but it's got to be what God's doing through us rather than what we can do, concepts, line up next to everyone else and do our thing with our club Social club, we're going to have an impact. No, no, it's Him in us and with us and through us. Are you you there? Philip Bianchi said this, a society that denies the supernatural usually ends up elevating the natural to supernatural status. I want to be bold enough to say, so does a church who puts gifts and talents and people and preachers and books and above the supernatural. Because if we're not recognizing the supernatural, we begin to elevate the natural. A society that does that is dead. But what about the church that does it? 